Hi everybody, I'm Jay Fenichel. In this lesson, we're gonna be talking about the groupings. The groupings is inside the accent category. And basically, when we talk about groupings, we're talking about groups of notes over the rhythm. Every rhythm that you play over the beat has an inherent group associated with it. So if you're playing 16th notes, one E and a two E and a one E and a two E, we're talking about groups of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you're talking about triplets, we're talking about groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one triplet, two triplet, one triplet, and so on and so forth. The challenge happens when you talk about a number that's not divisible by the normal group. So if we're talking about 16th notes and groups of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and you accent every three, three is not divisible by four. So you get the sound of accents moving across the time and not lining up. It does line up, but it takes three beats to come around. One, two, three, now we're back. So this is kind of an advanced topic. This might be the kind of thing that you're watching this lesson, and if you're a beginner, it's gonna go a little bit over your head. And that's okay, you might have to watch it a couple of times just to understand the concept of what we're doing. But what's cool about the groupings is that it gives you this feeling of erasing the bar line in your playing. So everything doesn't sound like you're playing one measure, there's beat one, there's beat one, there's beat one, and everything sounds very stale and generic. It gives you this very free feeling over the beat. The trick is learning how to develop this concept. And the way to develop it is through playing, tapping your foot, and counting. And that's what we're gonna study a little bit here in this lesson. I would like to take you through a couple of the common groupings, and from there, hopefully you'll understand how to work through the rest of them on your own. So let's go ahead and take a look at this grouping chart. Now basically, this shows you the formula of how to find all your groupings of notes. Now, just to keep it simple, we're gonna keep the rhythm in 16th notes. Eventually, we will talk about triplets, and that's, a, that's gonna be a different lesson. But if you notice in the grouping chart, I have an example of 16th notes on top, and then I have triplets on the bottom. And that's gonna really talk about elasticity, which is, again, something we're gonna get into at the end of this lesson. But if you look at this chart, you'll notice it says, next to the 16th notes, two, three, four, five, all the way up to nine. There's also an arrow above some of the odd groups. Now that arrow is gonna tell us which way the grouping moves through the time. Now what that means is there's a pattern associated with every grouping. For example, if I play 16th notes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, of course we could count one E and a, two E and a. As I'm playing this and I accent every three, you'll notice there's a down arrow above the three. What that means is that the accents are gonna move backwards through the count, like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, one, a, and E. One, a, uh, and E. One. Now that pattern helps you memorize how this grouping works over the beat. And it gives a little bit of a false sense of where the time is to the listener. Because we have to understand is that the listener is not hearing a metronome, they're just listening to what you're playing. So by playing groups of three, it makes the feeling of the time sound like it's going faster than the time actually is. If we take a look at groups of five, the inverse is true. If you notice the arrow is moving up, which means the accents are gonna gain one every single time. So if we start with 16 notes, one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a, and I accent every five notes, one, two, three, four, five, 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 one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, four B and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, five E and a, one. Our accents are gonna move forward. One, then the E of two, the end of three, the uh of four, then it'll come back to the strong beat. Now you notice I counted to five beats, which puts us in five, four time signature. I did that just so you could see the pattern coming around. So it's funny how everything relates. The accents move forward and it takes five beats on the metronome for the pattern to come back to beat one. I know this is very convoluted and tricky stuff we're dealing with, so make sure you really understand this grouping topic before you really try to tackle these. And this is definitely something you'll wanna to bring to a private teacher.